What is going on? This is Samuel from Samuel K Fit. Checking in with you guys. So you guys are doing well, doing terrific, and we are back with another video. This video is something that I've wanted to do for quite some time now. Uh, if, you've been, if you've been following me for a while, or maybe you just tuned in and found this channel in the last, uh, let's say, I don't know, three months or so, you'll notice a lot of this video is very running centric, and that's because a lot of my goals uh, up until this past weekend is running focus. In case you don't know, I just finished running the Chicago Marathon. I want to finish where I finished in four hours and thirty-eight minutes. Uh, that video should be. Live on the channel right now at the time that you're watching this video and now we are on a kamikaze mission uh, five weeks out from competing at WMBF world in Seattle so one thing I know for sure a lot of you guys have followed this channel for a while you follow me because of my strength training background not because of my running uh, because the subscriber account has not really changed that much so I am we are back to your normal content in case you were not interested in any other running content the next five weeks I'll bring you guys along on what I'm doing as far as nutrition goes covering all the bases for you guys just so you feel like you're part of the journey too not only am i bringing guys along you guys can actually train alongside with me so i put a link in the description that will take you to my app my fitness app you can log into the app and actually train alongside with me and do exactly the same thing i'm doing the training protocol for the next five weeks is going to be intensity focused and i will explain shortly why it is intensity focused Why intensity technique? Why should you or why am I doing intensity technique uh, for this contest prep? I'm doing intensity technique just because one, I want to train as hard as possible to make sure I'm stimulating my muscle to make sure they are sticking around. And it's a bit of an aggressive cut for me too, just because it's I don't have that much time to get ready. It's five weeks, five weeks to get shredded. It's not easy. I tell my clients, don't do as I do, do as I say, uh, because I would not recommend my strategy for a lot of people. And my strategy is I'm going to be reaching some poverty macro. I'm already at poverty macros right now. And my current macros is 250 grams of protein, 65 grams of fat, and 80 grams of carbs. And I'm doing cardio about 1,200 calories worth of cardio per week. So that is a bit aggressive. So the strength level might not be there, but using intensity technique is going to allow me to make sure at least my intensity is up there and to allow me to stimulate the muscle group so I can encourage them to stay around. And by the way, this video is going to be a long one. Again, it's going to be a raw training video for you guys. I don't want to cut the corners or worry about, oh, it's got to be 16 minutes and 15 minutes. I want to give you as much detail as possible so you get your popcorn ready. Give this video a thumbs up if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn the post notification on because i'm going to bring you different training videos raw training videos all uh, leading up to a contest so you guys can see how i train um, i'm also like certain loads and selfishly i want to make this video again so i can reference if you do end up uh, hopping on a training app i can you can reference some of this video so you can go back and watch it and you know understand what you need to do for your training session too so let's talk about pre-workout real quick especially when it comes to contest prep or any fat loss phase pre-workout is very important you know that little energy that boost that gives you energy to show up to the gym and crush it so we got a pre-workout in here and the biggest hack right now is i'm using my creatine close to workout i'm actually upping my creatine if you don't know what creatine does creatine is i want to be best supplement that i can recommend for anyone most studied most researched you cannot tell me it doesn't work it works uh all the research i mean 99.99 percent .99 of the data out there suggests that creatine is one of the best supplement for you uh, nobody can dispute that and if you think creatine kind of just makes you bald you know it doesn't it's not true creatine in here pre-workout in here and one of the major key uh, changes also is I'm adding electrolyte. Electrolyte is a good uh, nutrient transporter. Uh, sodium is a good nutrient transporter just to shuffle, uh, shuffle nutrients. If you're in a fat loss phase, uh, your glycogen is not going to be uh, to the level that it used to be before you got into that fat loss phase, meaning you are easily going to be expanding your glycogen. I mean, you're going to eat for a few minutes. You're going to be hungry again. You don't have enough stored in your system to help you uh, to increase your performance in the gym. So I have an intro workout here. This is just a HBCD high brand chain uh, dextrose uh, just a fast digesting carbs a uh, powder here about 20 grams I'm gonna be sipping throughout my workout uh, just to make sure uh, it's keeping me so something you can actually do also if you are the type of person that train first in the morning and you want to have a lot of food in your system just getting some of this uh, some branch chain amino acids with some simple or fast digesting carbs mix uh, with your creatine can definitely enhance your performance in the gym so uh, I'm already finished this I'm gonna sip on this we're gonna head to the gym get some warm-up going on and we're gonna jump into the workout for the day. So something that's going to be very important for you to do when it comes to strength training and preventing a lot of injuries is your proper warm-up. Yes, mobility, pre-workout mobility is very important. Actually, making sure your body core temperature is elevated before you start training is important too. So, so, so something like incline walking, a treadmill walk, jumping rope, just to elevate your heart rate before strength training has actually been shown uh, to prevent a lot of injuries uh, because one, you're nice and warm, nice and loose. I'm not sure exactly where you're watching this from, where I live, it's in the Midwest, 
it's getting colder, 55 degrees. I don't really have a lot of body fat to begin with. Uh, probably hovering around like seven, uh, probably probably eight percent right now. The leaner you are, obviously, the more exposed you probably, uh, the more exposed you probably are to getting injured. I'm gonna jump on here, do about 10, 15 minutes or so, and then we're gonna jump into our mobility. And then we're gonna jump into our actual training session. All right. So after one month, the first movement we are gonna be doing is gonna be the uh, split push and incline press. Uh, this is just a warm up. I'm so fucking cute. Uh, pro tip on the warm-up, uh, you don't really want to do too much really. You just want to make sure, okay, everything is moving properly, uh, joints, nothing is clicking, nothing feels weird. So we're going to be going with the uh, 45 pounds, just to test how this feels. So essentially, the best way to figure out what kind of load you want to use uh, is you can try what we call, uh, some of the things I suggest to a lot of my clients is, Try what I call potentiation set. Potentiation set essentially is, you know, it's a set where you are going to be using the potential weight that you are going to be using for your working set. And if your rep is at least a 10 to 12, like this movement is, I'm not going to do 10 to 12, I'm going to do maybe three sets. I mean, sorry, three repetitions. And that's just going to let us know, okay, is this going to be a good weight for us to start with? The heat, OMG, booty like Kylie, but shouty time. And I can definitely add another 10 to that. I mean, then 10 pounds on each, sorry, 20 pounds on each side. And that's gonna give us our working set for today. Again, it's a six-week pro six program. Uh, there's no need to max out <laughs> in the first week because again, just like fat loss, right? You don't wanna come out the gate just swinging for the fences. fences. You wanna start conservative. So this is gonna be three sets, uh, 10 to 12, first set. Did you see her on the magazine and Times Square on the screens? Just like Ree, Fenty on my cheek, Savage on his D in the gym, sweat the RIP, practice in Tai Chi. And you go to the app, you make sure you want to log your set. The weight that we use 90, 110, 12 repetitions, and we log that. So I have the training. Um, so in the app, also, you can definitely log your training. You can log all the, uh, you can log your sets and you work out in the app so you can reference that back to the last time you trained. So the first set, so the goal will be to match the last match to rep. One of the questions that I'm sure I'm gonna get, I get a lot, how long should your rest periods be? I'm not saying I'm not saying you should have a stopwatch. The rest periods can be as long as you want it, but since I'm gonna let a pile of the rest period like a five, 10 minutes. But you just wanna make sure you rest enough. Make sure the reason why you're not performing to your best is because you can't catch your brain. Set and the 12. Keep it chill, mental L I T, keep it ill psyche. Hotter than wasabi. Go for this last set is gonna be essentially to get around 11 to 10. Talked about this in the past a lot. Good rep range or rep cadence that you want to look for. You don't want your reps to be, see if you're doing three sets, you don't want three sets to be 12, 12, 12. That's always a good indicator like, oh, you're not training hard enough. So one, to ensure you're making sure you're in a position to be able to build the lean tissue mass that you want to build. Plug your training. You just make things a lot easier. You can look at your numbers and see what you did last week. Log your training, see if you're increasing the volume. It allows you to kind of just figure out if you're progressing or not. And so you just kind of just, you know, oh, I think I'm progressing. You think or you know. I'd rather know than think. So, log, that's one. And two, look at your reps. If your reps are looking the same, 12, 12, 12, there's a chance you're not training hard enough. Because if you train hard enough, it'll be very hard to match each repetition, especially when it comes to the RP. So this, uh, this RP, the RP range for this week is RP7. So leaving three rest of the tank, meaning at the last rep, gun point into your head. How do you feel? Too spicy. Okay, 12, 12, 12, 12. So it's not uncommon for the first week for you to do the same amount of repetition the first week, just because again, the effort is to rest up in the tank. But if every week you train, your reps are looking the same in the mess cycle, that's a good indicator that you're not training hard enough. All right, next move in, black dumbbell press. That just got thicker. Face ain't got no fillers. Go on, arch that back for the picture. Bitch, I drip like liquor. Pussy in the flow, stay wet like a river. Baby gon' shine like glitter. Looking at the baddest of on the mirror. No, 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 every bitch on the block is gonna copy. Don't need to tell them to stop. They couldn't top me. My beat sounds sicker. Then my peach look bigger. Bank account got more figures. Cutest bitch in the litter. Mm. I'm so fucking cute. Cool is effort. So based on today, based on that performance right now, the effort only allowed me 
uh, to get to that one rep shy of where I need to be. So I'm making note of that. So next time on the training cycle, I'm gonna be aiming to match. I'm gonna be aiming to beat that rep because again, the effort for the next week's best cycle is gonna be RP of eight instead of RP of seven. Minutes. So I mentioned we are gonna be using intensity technique and a lot of you guys are probably like, where is the intensity technique? I'm gonna be performing the intensity technique and I'm gonna show you or explain you what, what type of technique we're doing. You can just wanna replicate that. So right here as a chest supporter roll, three set 10 to 12 with added intensity technique on top of that. So that looks like 20 something reps. But let's explain real quick. So the tensor technique we are gonna be using a lot of <coughs> during this month cycle is called lengthening partial. partial. There's a lot of uh, research and studies that has shown that so in case you don't know something about, in case you don't know something about uh, training apps, so in case you don't know anything about uh, training, uh, the juiciest part of all your movement is when the muscle is at its full length in position. So obviously, yes, you wanna trade, use the muscle, or always use for range of motion, meaning you're taking the muscle through its full length and short range of motion. But in this piece, to add a little more added intensity, we're focusing on the lengthening position. That's why it's called lengthen partial. So in the program, you see something like LP, lengthening partial, and now it does a range. So the strategy is, it's RP of eight this week, seven to eight this week, and I'm gonna use, do my normal repetition, 10 to 12, which I did in the first one. That took me, that got 12 repetition in the first one. And once that's finished, and I'm focusing on the lengthening position or portion, of this movement to get another addition of 68 lengthening partials in. So you can use this for legs, shoulders, arms, any muscle group that you want to train, but it's just another way to add intensity technique. So you can use this strategy, let's say if you press for time, you just want to, you don't have a lot of time to train an hour, maybe 30 minutes, and you just want to make sure you maintain your intensity. Using lengthening partial is a good strategy to use. So no, you don't want to use lengthening partials on the, <laughs> On the, uh, on the end range of the, mo of the movement, because that defeats the purpose of it being lengthening. You want to apply it to where the muscle is at its fully lengthened position. And this position, obviously it's fully lengthened at the position. And the good thing with moving like this, it's harder at the lengthened position, at the starting position, and gets easier on the back end. So, but yeah, my name might be Sam, but we're not half repping it like uh, the other Sam that everybody's ripping about right now. Shots fired? No, all love. Just finish up uh, chest here. Going to do cable flies again, lengthening portion. 12 to 15, and the lengthened piece is gonna be 8 to 12 repetitions. So. Yo, get the speaker box loud, hitting that stuff till you hearing that sound. this because just put you in a position where you get a good stretch on the delt, especially in the starting position, and this position again is the hardest in the length of position. So three sets, 12-15, with we'll length and partial at the end. Two. 
four, five. Ah, oh, that's a hard. A total about 17 repetitions. Got two more sets. Events with a lap pull down, then the 12 repetition. I know lap pull down often, especially with the, you know, the pros and the bros on TikTok, kind of downplaying lap pull down. Lap pull down is still a great, phenomenal uh, back developer. So don't skimp on it because some 17 year old dude on TikTok told you not to do it. <laughs> Said 11, happy with that two set. And that's it, the chest, back and shoulders, now arm. All right, the next is gonna cross body, cable cross body tricep extension. It has been one of my favorite. And one thing about tricep in my tricep, three ones, so the volume that I attain it, it's not that much. So three set here, but we are added. and eight additional set. I'm gonna call it an audible on this just because on how that feels. I'm gonna do two sets. Again, tricep is very, I don't need a lot for me to get them annihilated. Two sets alone, they, I mean, they are done. This is hands down, one of my favorite bicep movements. Superman curls and again, lengthening partials. Especially on this one, it's, it's a pretty gnarly pump. So two sets from here also. The, the lengthened position of this movement is the hardest part. Alright, okay, so that is the first official upper body session for this contest prep in the books. Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy that. Uh, we are in a car right now, so I got two scoops of protein right here. Uh, one, I'm kind of behind the protein <laughs> anyways, and two, no, I'm not, you know, it's not about, oh my God, the anabolic window, you don't want to miss it, you know, you lose all your gains. No, it's not none of that. One, it's because the last meal that I've had is a while ago. Uh, I'm definitely hungry, and uh, I don't want to fall behind on my protein intake because I'm pretty behind already. So, I have two scoops of protein in here, and I actually have five grams of creatine also. So experimenting a little bit, again, like I said earlier, with higher uh, creatine, about 10 grams. Actually, no, about 15 grams compared to the five. I'm not worried about bloat. If I bloat, I understand exactly why. So it doesn't really bother me. So that's why I don't get all, sometimes when, you know, client, I experiment, I mean, experiment, experiment, I do a fat loss phase uh, with a client. I will not do it uh, the closer a client is to a show just because it can kind of skew the data. But if I'm doing it by myself, um, I can do it right now because I understand what I'm looking for. And it's me, I'm not, it's not gonna stress me out because my waist spikes up, I look watery. I don't really care about that because I know exactly what's going 
on. But we experimented with that 15 grams of creatine in here uh, together. Uh, 10 grams on my pre and five grams my post. And uh, yeah, and the logic behind that, uh, um, one of the effects of creatine is help in ATV production. But anyways, yeah, so that's why we having that in case some of you guys might be curious about that. I'm gonna sip on this, um, head home. It's Saturday for me. Um, it's a lot of client check-ins I have to do. So I'm about to uh, go knock that out um, and start editing this video. Uh, so based on the engagement that I get on this video, uh, if you made it this, this far, because like I said, it's a, it's a little bit longer video. Hopefully you enjoy that, you learn something. Whatever you learn, let me know in the comments. Something that, that's new, something that you never heard of before, something that you'd like to you know learn as we venture into this next five weeks. Let me know so I can incorporate that in this video. So again, I don't make this video for myself. I'm making this video too with the hopes of educating you guys along the way, uh, because that is the goal of this channel, to educate you, to present, uh, to help you get into the position where you can love the reflection of what you see in the mirror. I love the body that you live in, feel confident by yourself. Uh, just to give that this value and information out to you guys for free. So if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up, give this video a like, uh, share with your friends. I'm trying to grow this channel, grow this platform so we can keep spreading this you know, science-based training and knowledge with a lot of people. This time I'm gonna make it fit and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.